See what your neighbors are doing to prevent damage from an invasive insect. And take an encore look at Music Theater Louisville's production of Guys and Dolls, next on Metro Edition. Hi everyone, this is Metro Edition. I'm Matt Schuster. While an invasive insect may not seem like it can do much damage, it can actually devastate native tree populations. Here's a look at what some people in Louisville are doing to take precautions in order to preserve their ash trees. There is nothing quite as bad as an uninvited or unwanted guest. The trick then becomes ridding yourself of the unwanted pest. But that can be difficult when it happens to be only a half inch long and quite literally coming out of the woodwork. The emerald ash borer is a small beetle that's native to Eastern Asia. In the United States, it's exotic. And being exotic, it is killing many of the ash trees found uh, in much of the U.S. This tiny beetle is the cause of a large threat to the local ash tree population. Already, the emerald ash borer has killed a speculated tens of millions of ash trees, resulting in millions of dollars in damages. Its largest movement, actually, its greatest jumps, uh, occur through human activity. It was first discovered in eastern Michigan in 2002, which means it was probably there in trees around the middle of the 90s. They didn't see it until 2002. They've lost millions of trees. Since 2002, it's spread down from Michigan through about 13 or 14 different states, I believe, including our area too. Because of global trade being so extensive, we constantly have um, shipments of everything imaginable leaving and entering the U.S. And the emerald ash borer came in on some of those shipments, came in on ash wood material used for crates or packaging, and it, it, it uses, it lives inside of that ash wood and so it came into the United States uh, by accident, essentially. Our tree canopy is really important for a number of reasons in any neighborhood. Um, there are environmental benefits to having um, a healthy tree canopy. There are also a great many uh, quality of life aspects to it, as well as just a benefit to the value of our real estate. We have a lot of ash trees in our urban areas, uh, mostly white ash and green ash. Uh, these provide lots of benefits for our community. They help us to decrease the energy cost, they increase property value, and they beautify our neighborhoods. And I believe, too, in just the Louisville area, to give folks an idea of how many ash trees there are in the city of Louisville, I, I believe that's about, it makes up about 17% of a city's canopy. So there are a lot of trees. We wanted to attempt to save them because they are so valuable and so meaningful. To combat the spread of the invasive beetle, the Kentucky Division of Forestry will start treating ash trees. The treatment is said to repel the emerald ash borer for up to two years, after which the tree will need to be retreated. The treatment that we're actually chosen to do today for the highlands, I mean, just like the tree in the highlands, is actually what we call a, a direct trunk micro infusion. And this treatment uh, allows us to directly inject systemic compounds, insecticidal compounds, into the vascular transport system of the trees. Um, and then the trees distribute this chemical. And this chemical is actually called triage. It's the only chemical out there that is backed up by research to be effective at not only preventing but also controlling emerald ash borer for two years. Okay, but folks have to remember that we have to retreat after every two years. Several counties, including Jefferson County, have been quarantined to prevent the emerald ash borer from spreading through human activity. I think it was being spread primarily by people transporting the firewood around with the lobby inside. The quarantine means that ash products, untreated ash products such as firewood, lumber, um, anything with bark on it, a live tree, or uh, and, and especially firewood, that material cannot be moved through a quarantine area or out of a quarantine area without first having met certain restrictions. Already, the Kentucky Division of Forestry has launched a campaign warning citizens not to move untreated timber, including firewood, through or out of the quarantine zone without going through the proper procedures. Failure to do so could result in a population explosion of the ash borer, while placing the survival of Kentucky's ash tree population in jeopardy. 
I think because we're still at the low end of the insect levels here in this area, that we now essentially provides us with a great time to be proactive in treating these healthy ash trees. The University of Kentucky Department of Entomology has an emerald ash borer website and that can easily be reached by just simply googling University of Kentucky emerald ash borer and it will be one of the first hits that you find and it gives quite a bit of detail in addition to um, how the beetle kills a tree essentially and where the beetle is currently found in Kentucky. Music Theater Louisville's second production of their 2011 summer season brings to life a story filled with comedy, romance, missions, and even a floating crap game. Here's a look at some of the numbers from their production of Guys and Dolls. Call it dumb, call it clever, how do you get us forever? tells the story of a time that probably never really existed but we all kind of wish did in New York with the guys who love to play their crap games and run to the track and play cards and all the rest of it and the dolls who love them despite their many foibles. Am I wise? Am I smart? But I'll stop and not stare. the music or the dancing or the, the costumes or the comedy or you know the romance you, you know it's got it all sugar is sweet and so is jelly so put this down around your belly <laughs> that's so sweet <laughs> <laughs> ah look honey about your present uh, i was going to get you a diamond wristwatch with a gold band and two rubies on the side and you said that it's all right i didn't I'm sorry. Okay, I kind of like it when you forget to give me presents. It makes me feel like we're married. Nathan and Adelaide have been engaged uh, for 14 years. Uh, she just can't quite get him to commit, you know, which I, I, I think uh, is, is a funny thing because it's, it's still timely, you know. Girls are still trying to get guys to commit. I love you. I wish the land of heck. I wish the land of heck. Now it beats me all the heck. is the enduring musical comedy piece that it is. I think all ages would enjoy the show. Why should old reliable name, 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 and Detroit? If you're looking for action, it'll furnish the spot. Even when the heat is on, it's never too hot. Time for good old reliable name, for it's always just a short walk to the old That's all for this Metro Edition. Thanks so much for joining us. Remember, stay connected to your city, your life, and your Louisville right here on the national award-winning Metro TV. Until next time, I'm Matt Schuster. Make it a great day. Metro TV, a public service of Louisville Metro Government.